Hi, I'm Jerry from Intelligent Tuition School, and today I'm to talk about the past participle, which is uh, one of the forms of uh, the English language that a lot of uh, people neglect. This video is actually for primary school students, but I'm sure many adults they probably forget their uh, grammar basics by now, really. So it's good you tune in also. Uh, so what exactly is this past participle? Everybody keep thinking uh, words have only two forms, present tense and past tense, but actually there's also the past participle. Alright, past participle indicates things that happened in the past. It also indicates completed action or time. Alright, so when do you use the past participle, you ask? Alright, we use it in the past or present perfect tense as you can see in this question. I have drank the milk. To many people, this may seem correct, but actually, in present, in this, in this case, it's present perfect tense. In present perfect tense, you do not use the past tense of the word drank, of the word drink. You want to use drunk. And but drink, there's three forms of the word drink, which is present tense, drank, past tense. And a lot of times people forget to use drunk. Alright? So present perfect tense, past perfect tense simply means have drunk, past perfect tense would be had drunk. This is one of the mistakes that a lot of people uh, do not make. Same for words like sing, past tense would be sang. And a lot of people forget the past participle is also some. But for some words like start, past tense will be started. Past participle is also started. Alright? So this is one, uh, one example where past participle is used. Another way is you, another time when you use past participle is uh, for the passive voice, right? So what is the passive voice, alright? You see this sentence, I have drunk the milk, that's active voice. Passive voice, simply you bring the milk in front, the milk was drunk by me. Right? This is another case where we use the past participle also. Next, we also need to know that past participle can also be used as an adjective. Which adjective you may you may be wondering? Uh, here are some common ones like broken arm. All right, in case uh, to recap your memory, broken comes from the word break, which is present tense. Past tense would be broke, and then the past participle is broken. Same for drunk also. Drunk over here, we use it as a verb. But here when we say the drunk man, we use it as an adjective. Alright? So this is one very common mistake that a lot of students make, uh, especially the P6 students. They always make these kind of mistakes in their PSLE, uh, in their composition writing. And uh, even adults also, as uh, you grow older and you leave your school, you tend to forget the usage of the past participle. So these are the three rules in which past participles are used. It's used in the past and present perfect tense. It's used in the passive voice. It's also can be, it also can be used as an adjective. So uh, that's all for my lesson today on the past participle. Uh, stay tuned for more videos which are to be shown soon. Thank you.